Hello and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talking all things real estate and home ownership related. Well, today, many of you have kids that have gone back to school if they didn't already start, and we're heading into the fall season. So as we head into the fall season, I have a guest joining me today, Jason Peltier, owner of Oat Soda, and he's going to be on today to share with us some upcoming events for this fall season. Without further ado, let's get Jason on to join us. Hi, Jason. Hello, Tracy. How are you today? Uh, doing wonderful, coming to you from down the hall. Yes, yes, yes. We have you in studio, but... Uh, but yeah, but down the hall today, so in, in studio, but not quite the same studio. Right, right, right. Dif- I think different studios. We have too much fun, so they got to separate us. Yeah, <laughs> yes. we, we get in trouble, you know. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I know you're here to give us some, um, you know, some things that are coming up. Where kids are back in school, the weather's starting to turn. You know, summer's not technically over but you know the season is, is is finishing up here and so as we head into fall there's some fun events happening and uh, I know you're here to share some of those with us today yes um this is my favorite time of year I get to wear shorts and a light hoodie yeah and the oat soda light hoodies are amazing yeah so I, I am so happy you know in Michigan we get one week is summer the next week fall slapped <laughs> us around now we're getting summer coming soon, so it's an interesting time of year <laughs> um, for all of us in Michigan, and especially at Oat Soda, we try to do the best we can to uh, accommodate your beer drinking, beverage consuming needs this time of year. Yes, so, yes, yes. Well, we appreciate uh, um, that. <laughs> no, it's 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 my pleasure. <laughs> um, I, I want to begin. Um, we do have a class that we're um, we're doing with uh, through the library, library okay. community outreach. Okay. On October third, through the Orion uh, Township Public Library. So um, there's a class I'll be teaching. I did one a while ago called uh, "What Is Craft Beer." Mm-hmm. Uh, it was very well attended, and this one on October third will be about the beers of fall. Beers of fall. Oh, okay. Beers of fall. It's important My to make sure tiny. you get the right beer for the right season. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, so obviously, the beginning of fall comes with Octoberfest. That wonderful word everybody loves. Yeah. Oh, with a K. Octoberfest. Yeah. <laughs> um. But what some people don't know is that actually starts in September. Really? Um, September 17th this year is the official start date, and it ends October 3rd. Okay. So it, it's an and a little history. Now, these are things you'll learn in my class, but I'll give you a little tidbits right now. A little sneak peek. Annual, <laughs> a little sneaky peek. Sneaky peek. <laughs> it's an annual festival held in Munich, Germany. It's a two-week period. starts in September, ending the first Sunday in October. And it originated October 12th, 1810, in celebration of the marriage of the Crown Prince of Bavaria. So uh, they've been having this party for quite some time. Wow, that is some, uh, you know, you celebrate, you think they're going to be celebrating your anniversary, you know, 200 plus years from now? I I don't think so. I don't (laughs) think so. But this has been going on for quite some time. Um, that if you're a beer drinker, beer lover, that should be a bucket list event to go over to Munich during Oktoberfest. I have yet to go, um, you know, maybe one year, you know, maybe next year, uh, next year we'll have you live from Munich. How how about that? Oh, that would be amazing. I don't think you would want that video footage. (laughs) I, yeah, we probably couldn't put it on ON TV, but (laughs) no, Uh... no, but, um, (laughs) So they, there's a, a style of beer, Oktoberfest, and you'll see a lot of the, it'll say Oktoberfest slash Marzen, M-A-R-Z-E-N style of beer. Marzen translates to March. Okay. And there's an interesting correlation, like yeah. why does a beer that you drink in October, September, October, right. basically called March beer? Well, back in 1553, again, we're giving some history lessons here. Yes. Um, There was a decree making it illegal to brew beer in Bavaria between April 23rd and September 24th. And the reason was it was too warm and they didn't want the beer to spoil. Interesting. Because they have to lager it for long periods of time. 
I mean, it's it's interesting, so, but that they that they make it a, a law or a rule that you can yeah. do it. They just do not want to produce a poor product. So the the German they take yeah. their beer very seriously. Yes. You know, they have the Rheinheitsgebot, boat, which yeah. you know that's certain. Only certain things can be in beer. Nothing else. None of this spiced and other ingredients and. You know, that's all. They're very particular. But that's a whole nother top, a whole nother history lesson there. We won't go down that uh, rabbit hole. Um, so the brewers would ramp up production in the spring and they'd have to make stronger beers that would hold up. OK, so um, you would have these wonderful little higher ABV beers in the fall, which, of course, you want a cold night sitting by the fire. A little instead of a four or five percent beer you want an eight nine percent beer why not that will definitely warm you up right yeah exactly exactly so um nowadays you'll see fast beers obviously there isn't that the decree they can brew beer with refrigeration and they can do things year round so you'll see some lower abv fest beers when you're drinking two liter steins of beer you want low abv so um but what i love is kind of connecting all these decrees and laws and how they did things back then. It's basically, I call it early health code. Okay. You know, they, they, they came up with these rules and laws to basically, they didn't know why, but Hey, this is spoiling. So you shouldn't do it. So don't do it. They didn't really know why other than it was spoiling. So, um, I call that one of the early health codes. Okay. Um, so a lot of Oktoberfest beers you'll be seeing around. Um, we'll have a lot of them on tap, which I'll go over in a little bit at Oat Soda. Um, the next category you're going to see a lot coming around is fresh hop or harvest IPAs. And what that is, uh, a couple weeks after Labor Day, the summer heat is ending. They're harvesting all of the hop cones. And so these all the brewers, they want the local fresh hops. Okay. I, I know Shorts did this in the past where they literally had a beer that was kegged and bottled and it was shipped overnight to all these accounts and they had a mass tapping the next day to have the freshest beer possible. So hops generally are going in dried or pellet form when they're brewing. So now this fresh hop, they're getting the whole fresh cones basically right from the vine, harvested right to the brewer, into the kettles making a fresh hop IPA. I think so, next time you need to bring us some props so we can see what the hops no, look like. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'll just have to, you'll just have to attend October 3rd. Uh, oh yes. The class. At, at yeah. Oat Soda for the library class. Uh, and then we'll have some more of that. Sorry. I, I right. should have stayed at Oat Soda. I could have done that. My bad. <laughs> um, so beginning of October, you'll start seeing the fresh hop IPAs. The next category you'll see a lot of in I would pumpkin spice, pumpkin and spiced beers. Mm, so you know, a lot of people think pumpkin in fall, you think Starbucks, you got to have your pumpkin latte. <laughs> I have my pumpkin chai tea. Oh, so uh, I'm getting in the nice. spirit here. Yeah. So yeah, pumpkin and herb beer. And again, that, that dates back to early colonial America. Wow. You know, they're just, they're trying to use what they had. It's harvest time. They had lots of pumpkins, yams. They're putting that in beer, just do what they can to make it taste good because they didn't have great practices to make great tasting beer. So they're using the ingredients they have. That's interesting. So, That's one of the things, so, you know, you always bring the history and, you know, because there's always reasons behind things. A lot of times, you know, uh, everybody wants, yes, their, their fall drinks and they just think, oh, because the weather's changing, but it, it came out of necessity. Necessity. Yeah. Yep. It was necessity. It's what they had. They had, yeah. they used what they had. So, um, so we'll talk about all that and more on October 3rd. You can sign up through the library, I believe on their website. Okay. Um, Orient Township Orion Library. Magazine. Yes, if, you, yes. if everyone got this in the mail. Yeah. At the back of that. I, I did. I, I have, oh, oh, I've had a couple so, of people send me pictures of the um, back. Oh, so at... if we were in studio together, I would be handing this to you right now to get autographed. <laughs> I will definitely, we'll I'll, I'll definitely that autograph that for you. Yes, I, I would like to get this autograph. Yeah. You made the cover yeah. for me. I just I'm on page. <laughs> where is it? 40, page 40. Page 40, okay. You can see a little oat soda yep. blip right there, yep. all about our class. All right. So take a look at that register. It is free, and uh, which is great with our library. It's great. Yeah. Um, libraries, they're evolving. They're not what they used to be. You know, I mean, I grew up 
you grew up, you know, we had a class on how to, you know, the Dewey Decimal System, how to <laughs> right, how to yeah. look up books in the library. Right, now right. every kid has a phone, they look up all their information. So <laughs> Yeah, Libraries our, are amazing how they're diversifying and doing events and community outreach. They and, are. And the, and, the uh, Orion Township Library, I have had uh, I've had the director on from the library in a, a previous episode. And there are just so if you haven't been to the library lately, you really should get in and check it out. It's not even the special events, um, but they mm -hmm. have some great, um, great opportunities with the um, you, know, you can make the 3D. They have the 3D printers and a technology center. And there, there's a lot there's a lot there. yeah so oh yeah there is renting movies yeah. renting games yes. you, know, you want to try out a movie or a game with your child you know rent them out right they're free yes so yes. <laughs> um so that's awesome we have like i say we have a lot going on with that class a lot of history a lot of fun there will be beer available for purchase okay um just and i want to go over the style the beer the actual beers and those styles that we'll have at oat soda throughout the month okay um right now on tap is Iyengar. Oktoberfest uh, from Germany. I One of the best you're going to get. Um, it's great beer. Uh, representing Michigan at some point, uh, we'll have Rochester Mills, Founders. We have some Founders in retail right now. And Wolverine Oktoberfest. Wolverine is one of those breweries. They're out of Ann Arbor. They do only lagers, okay. which is unusual for a brewery. Now everyone wants hoppy IPAs and it's ales. Ales are quicker to make. Lager is a cold fermenting, takes longer to do. and uh, But Wolverine, note, we want to make good lagers, and they do some amazing lagers. So, there, of course, Oktoberfest is a lager. Awesome. Um, we also have, we'll be having Great Lakes Oktoberfest, Great Lakes out of Cleveland, one of the best in the country. And then we'll have a keg from Three Floyds out of Munster, Indiana as well. Nice. So if, for, you, if you're not able to to make a little tour on your own this fall for Oktoberfest, you can stop into Oat Soda and mm -hmm. uh, sample the breweries from the Midwest. Yep, yep. And then now on to pumpkin beers, um, two favorites from Southern Tier out of New York, Pumpkin and Warlock. They're, those are Imperial, so those are 8% pumpkins, 8-9%. Uh, maybe even more. I'll have to check that. Uh, but Warlock is a pumpkin porter, Imperial pumpkin porter. Okay. So so the pumpkin and Warlock. New Holland, Ichabod, classic pumpkin ale. Saucy Brewing out of Cleveland. They also have a tap room in Detroit. Boothang, pumpkin ale. <laughs> and uh, Elysian out of Seattle, Washington, Night Owl pumpkin ale. Has real yammy pumpkin flavor. Uh, we have a variety pack from them in the oat soda shop as well. And not to be forgotten this time of year are hard ciders. Yes. Um, Those I, you think cider and donuts? Years. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cider and donuts. Well, the adults have some hard ciders, and Blake's has their caramel apple. Um, they have some other fall specialties coming out as well. So lots of hard ciders out there. So obviously, you can find all that at Oat Soda. In your, when you're in the grocery aisle in the stores, you'll see them flooded. You know, just like Christmas in October, you know, in retail, you know, the fall season and Halloween season, you'll find in, you know, August, September. So all of those things will be available uh, retail anywhere you go. Right. So stock up. You're having a yeah. party at your house. You want to celebrate the season football. Yeah, football Sundays um, or tailgates. Have some season. Yes. Yep. <laughs> And so. if anyone has questions, they can always come to us at Oat Soda. We'll be happy to get in. We'll order whatever they like okay. uh, for their special events. Um, we'll even print, as you know, special menus yes. so people know yes. what they're drinking. So that service is always available at Oat Soda as well. Fantastic. Well, thank you so yeah. much for joining me today, Jason. Yeah. And um, thank you for uh, everybody for tuning in. I know we've been on a little bit of a, a hiatus, but we're back now for the the fall season and through the end of the year, Tea with Tracy every Tuesday with 12. And if you are interested in getting some more education and background, um, join the class at the Orion Township Library on October 3rd or just stop. It'll in be at Oat Soda. Soda. It'll be no, at Oat Oh, it'll be Soda at Oat Soda. Soda. Yep. Okay. Yes. At Oat Soda, but you sign up through the library. Um, Correct. But you can also stop in any other time at Oat Soda. So. Thank you awesome. again, Jason, for joining Thank us. Thank you so much. Thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you next Tuesday at 12 on Tea with Tracy. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.